Hey what's going on guys, welcome to your second Django tutorial and in this video we're going to install Django and start creating our blog. Alright then, so I guess the first thing we want to do is install Django onto our computer so we can start using it. Now by this stage I'm guessing you've already installed Python, if not stop here, go and install Python first of all, I've got Python 3 running on this machine. So we're going to install Django using pip which is the package manager for Python. I will say pip install and then Django. Now I've already installed Django on my computer so I don't need to hit enter but you do. That's going to download and install Django for you on your computer. Now the next thing you need to do is navigate to a directory inside your command line tool where you want to create a Django project. Okay so I've directed myself into this Django playlist folder and by the way to change directory inside the terminal all you need to do is cd that stands for change directory then the directory name for example documents that's going to jump into the documents folder for you okay or to go up a level you just do cd double dot and that's going to go up a level you can see right here it's jumped up to recording so i'll say cd django hyphen playlist again and that's going to jump into this folder this is where i'm going to create my django project so how do we create a django project well once we have django installed dead simple all we do is say django hyphen admin then it's start project and then the name of your project. I'm going to call this Django Nautic and that is not a completely random name. Uh, when Python users use Django, they're called Django Nauts. So I just thought Django Nautic was a good name for a Python blog. All right. So if you click enter now, that's going to go out and create this Django project for you. And over here in my editor, you can see this Django Nautic folder inside the Django playlist. This is my project folder now. And if I open it up, then we get another Jack and Nautic folder, which is a little bit confusing at first. But this is basically the base app of your project. And we'll talk about Django apps later on. But understand, this is kind of like the root app of your project. And inside here, we have different files. We have the init file, which is just saying, look, this is a module in Python. Then we have a settings file, and this is going to control some different settings of our project. And we're going to talk about that a bit later on and go through it throughout this series. We also have a urls.py file and inside here is where we control all the different routes or URLs and send users to different pages, etc. Again, we'll go through that later on as well. Uh, we also outside of the folder have this manage.py file and we're never going to be editing anything to do with this, but this is going to control a lot of different things for us. It's going to allow us to spin up a server to make migrations, to enter some kind of interactive shell, to communicate with a database, etc. And in fact, we use a command using this manage.py straight away. So if I just go to my terminal again, I'm going to say Python because we're running a Python file, right? Then I'm going to say manage.py because this is the file I want to run. And by the way, before I do this, I just need to CD into this Django Nautic folder, first of all. So I'll say CD Django Nautic, all right, because otherwise, It'd be looking inside this folder right here for a manage.py file. It's not there. It's inside this one. So now I can say Python manage.py and the command we're going to use is run server. And this is going to spin up a local server for us, which is going to run our application. All right. So you can see right here, it's saying now that the development server is at 127.0.0.1. And then port 8000. All right, now if we go to this address in a browser, we won't see much at the minute because we've not really done anything in our project. There's nothing really there yet, but this is where we would preview our project later on down the line. Okay, so to exit out of the server, you can just press Ctrl and C. That's going to quit it for you. So now if we go to this address, it's no longer going to show our website. The server has to be running. So whenever we want to preview our website, all we do is say Python manage.py and then run server. So this run server command is coming from this manage.py thing. And again, we're going to be using this manage.py file for a few different commands like this later on through the series. You'll also have noticed when I ran this, we've also got this db.sqlite 3 file. So Django projects automatically come configured with SQLite. So that's going to store all of our data for us 
inside this project. Of course, later on down the line, you're free to use a different kind of database, but for now, we're just gonna stick with this one. So that's what that file is all about as well. So there we go, my friends. We've now set up our first Django project, installed Django, and we're ready to go in the next lesson to have a look at some of these files in here. In particular, we're gonna look at this URLs file to begin with.